Hi guys, this is AC Game. We're back with a new video on Illusion Connect. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be getting my first awakened character, who is going to be Miyuki. Now, Miyuki just got an awakening after the update, so I'm going to be doing her today. But before I do that, guys, I'm going to go over the update because there is some few stuff I want to talk about, especially with the Camille um, we work, because I want to talk about him and whether he's still viable of a character or stuff like that, as well as the characters, because the translation I did go over last video was not accurate so i want to um, make sure i clarify that in this video and give my final thoughts on those characters before i do that guys don't forget to like and subscribe let's get to 3k subscribers at 3k subscribers i will be doing a giveaway so definitely stay tuned for that okay let's get right into the video before i do the awakening i want to go over the update so yeah the arena is going to be opening in three days so i believe when the uh, week ends so when the arena weeks end we're going to get this brand new live pvp so it's going to be fun to go over that and challenge it um that is going to be good to have because of the universal shard i always wanted that and i'm really impressed that the game decided to do that universal shard is always something to have in a game where you do require shards and i think the fact that illusion connect decided to add that is just a massive step up now let's talk about kimio because his rework it makes him a viable tank now which is actually really good now i'm going to talk about him right now because his skills upgrade is literally really good i'm not going to lie now let's take a look at what he can do with his unique i believe that's what changes now he gets a shield as well as reflect i believe in my taylor's video i rated him as a d tier character but with this bar i would actually raise him up to c tier um maybe even b tier but i think there's other tanks out there that's just 10 times better than camille even though the buff right now gives him 100 percent reflect rate and a 45 percent shield i think the fact that his cost is 20 is just way too high as a tank you want to use them at the start of the match but with the camille costing 20 it's just going to take a longer time for you to deploy him i do believe that he has a passive way he can reduce his um what's it called reduce his cost a bit or something like that i'm not too sure about it the fact that it costs 20 is just too much we take a look at selena where you can easily deploy her with 15 costs it's just viable to use her and if you also take a look at angela who i believe is another good tank because of the revive and the taunt um she's just way better to use even at 18 cost so yeah camille might be good right now with the buff but still a detailed mc tier unit um not bad in my opinion i do like the fact that they decided to work on him a little bit let's talk about his three new characters that will be coming out because i want to clarify something about the skills um I, in my last video where when i went over the skills i was mistaken in some of the stuff it's from google translate so it's not going to be 100 percent accurate so let's take a look at luna now it looks like um when i was confused with his combat passive it is clarified here now if six unit dies is energy requirements becomes one which is literally amazing from 12 cost to one cost literally puts him up there as one of those characters you can deploy straight away and the fact that he is a we just puts him up right now so definitely a beta unit i do need to test out his damage if his damage is quite high definitely would put him in a tier because the fact that you can deploy him straight away uh, even when six unit dies and in this game your units will die the moment to deploy units give them like five seconds six seconds they will die because they, if they take a unique to the face they're dead so yeah six units dies and you are able to deploy him it's just really really good especially the fact that it takes in the partner's death and the summons character death if you put him with ash Warrior, literally you can put this guy straight away every single time it's just going to be good to have so yeah gonna have to test him out with his damage now let's take a look at Seagar, which is a good name reminds me of Jaeger I don't know if they're doing this deliberately because her name was Zeke from Attack on Titan now her name is Seagar, who reminds me of Eren Jaeger so yeah sorry <laughs> I just have to mention that let's take a look at her skills to clarify some stuff I'm still a little bit confused with her unique or is it a passive uh no with her passive but yeah she's able to ignore damage resistance and block rate um still needs to understand what's everyone everyone remaining cost i don't know what that means like maybe it's a mistranslation or something it's still confusing for me to read that but so yeah she still seems like a really good unit i am definitely going to go in for her when she drops in the game i have 90 tickets right now ready to go all in might even top up so i can get her and also they have added the um, universal shards if you take a look at camille well it's not only camille it's just easier to talk to um, go to him but as you can see universal shards definitely liking that anyway let's go and awaken my miyuki let's go to my favorite character in this game and must have character mami yuki right now level 300 maxed out 
um, the equipments I have on her isn't the best I do believe I could probably change this and change this as well especially this as well but I just gave her a random set the only one I really like putting on her was this she's not going to be dealing that much amount of damage but she's not there for damage she's there to reduce the amount of rage you need to use that on other units let's go to lens upgrade as you can see go over there fast and awaken okay awaken let's go Miyuki that was extremely loud and i'm sorry the uh volume button disturbed the video but there we go and make awaken miyuki gonna screenshot this now let's take a look at cp 553k which is pretty huge character art looks amazing and my first awakened character i'm so happy about this what does she get for the um what's it called upgrade so she increased damage and damage rate and damage resistance also increased so not bad i thought they're going to increase the amount of rage she can reduce as well damn look at this you can press this this is actually so cute i don't care i, I, I need this for other characters as well definitely waifu anyway yeah that's my first awakened character let's go and test her out in damage and some um story stage go over here oops jesus christ there's a lot of people oh, i'm a bit late aren't i yep i'm a bit late for all of this yep okay that's gonna hurt i'm not gonna do that that's too easy we're gonna go over here actually let's try it again okay it's done we go to the 57th one we need to go and clear all of this it's still hard i'm not gonna lie let's go to here we're gonna challenge now what we have to do now let's test out our miyuki let's see if there's animation change or anything like that i actually forgot what awakening does besides increase the damage Oof, Liz looks sick. Um, favorite character Miyuki, just look waifu. Waifu. Don't kill her. Oh, she's done it again. Cool. I need to heal her up, I guess. Oh, she's done it third time. Jesus. She likes Miyuki. There she is. Now, I do believe I need to finish this off straight away, so stop messing about. There we go. Now, I was using my Nifir, and I've got to say, Nifir does not do that much damage, I'm not going to lie. Um, she's an okay unit, but she doesn't do that much damage. You don't really need her for damage, but a little bit disappointed with the damage she can does, that she does. Let's go with this Miyuki again. Miyuki is just doing her ultimate every time or unique, whatever you want to call it. There we go. The tanks in this game, just especially with enemies, they tank too much. Oh, I'm about to lose this, aren't I? Maybe she will do good. Yep. There we go finished ended i think we got this um three stars now miyuki best in terms of damage look at that she lasted the entire round that, i believe that's the first time i've seen that especially in a hard stage like this um if you guys are wondering what about my hersey i can awaken my hersey i just chose not to um let's go to lens upgrade as you can see i want to see do i have enough no i don't yeah i need dust now the fact that they're adding universal shards is good but now the main issue with this game now is probably the amount of xp we need the gold and the dust so they need to fix that and everything else in this game will be good love the live pvp that's about to come out definitely gonna make a video on that hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on illusion connect it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out